Alright, I'm gonna keep this intro short because this list is gonna be cool in every sense of the word. And no pun intended. Make sure you stay tuned for number one if you want to learn more about a real mummy's curse. Here are 15 unbelievable things found frozen in ice. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Our first entry is Frozen Treasure. In 2013, an anonymous mountain climber walked up to some French law enforcement officers and turned over a small box containing 100 precious jewels, including rubies, emeralds, and sapphires, worth somewhere in the neighborhood of $300,000. He'd found it in the ice on Mont Blanc, and we know now that the box came from an Air India flight that crashed on the mountain in January of 1966. In the years since the crash, bits and pieces of the wreckage and cargo have been found. After the overwhelmingly honest climber turned the jewels over to the authorities, they began to look for the rightful owner. No word of the treasure made it back as of yet, though. Our next entry is Fighting Moose. Fighting over the right to mate is some sort of a priority in the animal kingdom. Something that takes precedence to, well, let's say, your own life. Nothing shows this more than the discovery of two moose which are stuck permanently in Mortal Kombat, encased in about 8 inches of ice in Alaska, along the Bering Sea. They were discovered in 2019 by two hikers who were unsurprisingly amazed by what they found. Bill Samuel, a retired biologist and moose expert at the University of Alberta in Canada, says that he has never seen anything quite like it. Though he is aware that the strength of the powerful animals and irregular shapes of their antlers can occasionally result in tangling that the animals cannot escape. Entangled moose skulls have been found occasionally, but it's the first time in recent memory that any have been found in ice. Our next entry is a fox. Somewhere in Germany, one poor fox decided to walk casually on one of the frozen lakes. Unfortunately, the lake wasn't completely frozen over, so the fox fell right into the frigid water. Falling into frozen water is bad enough, but the temperatures that day were so low that the water around the fox quickly froze solid. The foxicle, yes I went there, was found by a local hunter named Franz Stell. By the time he came upon the fox, it was so frozen that it was impossible to know when it fell into the water. He came back the next day armed with a chainsaw and cut the animal out of the ice. He then, quite controversially, put the frozen fox on display in front of a small hotel that he owned to serve as a warning to everybody the dangers of walking on frozen lakes. Hey, I mean, if it's a bad message, it's still a message, I guess. Moving on. Our next entry is a World War I battlefield. Beginning in the 1990s, global warming started melting the glaciers around northern Italy's town of Peo. Artifacts from decades before started pouring out of the ice. Love letters, diaries, and finally the bodies of soldiers who died fighting in the White War of World War I. As the melting continues, more bodies are being found. In 2004, a local mountain guide found three Habsburg soldiers on the mountainside. Historians have even uncovered an entire cabin preserved beneath the ice, complete with ammo boxes, steel helmets, and clothes left behind by the men who fought in the White War. Things like half-dismantled engines have been recovered, along with touching personal items like photographs, newspaper clippings, and pieces of trench art. Some of the bodies have even been identified, and hopefully bringing a little closure to families who have waited and wondered for decades. Our next entry is a tunic from the Iron Age. With the melting of Norway's glaciers, archaeologists are finding things that Iron Age people dropped and couldn't be bothered to pick up. This only goes to show that our early ancestors didn't think much about littering. The mountains of Oppland County have yielded more than 2,000 artifacts alone, which makes it the Iron Age equivalent of the Vegas Strip. The area was once a major thoroughfare for our ancient ancestors. Countless people passed back and forth over the mountains, moving livestock and manning farms with the changes in the seasons. Most of the artifacts have been things like arrowheads and horseshoes. They have also found mittens as well, and in 2011, researchers from the University of Oslo and the Norwegian University of Science and Technology found a tunic that they had dated to between AD 230 and AD 390 covered in ancient horse poop. Our next entry is a reindeer infected with anthrax. 2016, global warming struck again when a heat wave led to the thawing of a decades-old reindeer carcass in western Siberia. But no, this isn't your typical run-of-the-mill reindeer. This one was infected with anthrax. 12,000 deer also died because of the emergence of the carcass, as well as hospitalizing at least 40 other people. It is the exact same anthrax that has been weaponized, and the Russian government dispatched specialists in biological warfare to try to contain it. 
You'd think this would be another cautionary tale of the dangers of global warming, but what other horrors await us when polar ice caps melt is the real question. Our next entry is Grasshoppers. Grasshopper Glacier is a mile-long, half-mile-wide glacier outside Cook City and is filled with millions and millions of grasshoppers. According to the Montana Office of Tourism, a 1914 analysis of grasshopper specimens confirmed they belonged to a species already extinct for around 200 years. They're pretty sure the ill-fated swarm had been passing over the mountains when they were caught in a snowstorm. They died and then were frozen into the glacier under years and years of blizzards. Our next entry is Alligators. Back in January of 2019, North Carolina experienced record low temperatures, so much so that even ponds and lakes were frozen over. People at the Swamp Park in Ocean Isle Beach were understandably worried about the 18 American alligators they kept in the park, so they checked them out and they were pleasantly surprised with what they saw. All 18 alligators were definitely under the ice, with just their snouts poking out of said ice. Remarkably, all of them were alive. Apparently, when the water or air temperatures dip too low for them to be active, the cold-blooded reptiles go into a state of brumation, which is a hibernation-like state for reptiles. As soon as the ice thawed, the gators went about their business almost like nothing had happened. Our next entry is a woolly rhinoceros. In September of 2014, two hunters boating down a stream in Siberia noticed some wavy auburn fur poking out of the permafrost. They initially thought that it was a reindeer, but thought that it didn't look quite right. They dug up the animal from the thawing soil, and before them was the frozen body of a baby woolly rhinoceros. They kept the body out of winter before turning it over to the Saka Republic Academy of Sciences. Given the name Sasha, she is one of the few woolly rhinoceroses yet discovered. On top of having that distinction, she is also the only calf. Experts estimate she was just 18 months old when she died. Even though some Siberian predator had chewed off Sasha's backside, the half that was buried in permafrost is largely intact. In addition to the skeletal leg, torso, and head, the calf has an ear, an eye, teeth, two horns, and a big flap of wool-covered skin. Perhaps most important, it might also still contain DNA. If scientists can recover an intact sample, they'll be able to determine which species of living rhino is most closely related to the extinct woolies. Our next entry is an 18,000-year-old puppy. Discovered in 2018 in Siberia's far eastern reaches, this 18,000-year-old puppy was buried for centuries before it was finally unearthed. The fur, skeleton, teeth, head, lashes, and whiskers of the pup, named Dogor, are still intact. But scientists don't know whether it's a dog or a wolf. Many scientists say dogs evolved about 15,000 years ago from a species of extinct wolves. Others suggest it could have happened much earlier, perhaps 30,000 years ago or more. These wolves evolved after generations of exposure to humans and were domesticated and became the canine companions we know of today. Our next entry hits a little close to home, new old viruses. For the past 15,000 years, a glacier on the northwestern Tibetan plateau of China has hosted a party for some unusual guests. That being an ensemble of frozen viruses, many of them unknown to modern science. Do any of these viruses have the potential to do harm? Well, that's what scientists are trying to find out. They are in a race against time as the melting ice is a ticking time bomb about to release these pathogens into the atmosphere. The researchers had to create new protocols in order to make sure that the ancient viruses weren't contaminated with modern bacteria, and eventually they were able to get two ice cores collected in 1992 and 2015. The experiment revealed 33 groups of virus genuses in the ice cores. Of these, 28 were previously unknown to science, and thus whether they're harmful to humans is also still unknown. Our next entry is Evidence of Human Sacrifice. Human sacrifice is a sad yet intricate part of human history. Ancient civilizations, particularly the Maya and the Inca, believed that human sacrifices were required to appease the gods who display their displeasure of mortals through famine or plague or some other natural disaster. Archaeologists have unearthed the frozen remains of two girls and a boy at the top of a cloud-swept volcano in the Andes, where Incan priests sacrificed them to the gods five centuries ago. The mummies are in such good condition that the organs are intact, and in at least one case, it appears that frozen blood still fills the heart. They have since been given names. 13-year-old Luleko Maiden and her younger companions, Luleko Boy and Lightning Girl. It is believed that they were sedated prior to being buried alive. Our next entry is Ancient Seeds. If you're lucky, you have a green thumb. 
If you're unlucky, you have a few dead plants that someone said even you couldn't possibly kill, but through sheer force of will and inborn talent, oh, oh you proved them wrong there, Sunny Jim. If that's the case, you'll find it even more impressive that scientists have managed to grow plants from material taken from 32,000-year-old seeds that have been encased in ice after being hidden by, and I know this sounds too good to be true, an Ice Age squirrel. By the time humans found them, the seeds were 124 feet beneath the permafrost layer, but researchers were still able to recover viable plant tissue from inside the seeds. The seeds germinated and ended up with flowers that produced a whole new crop of seeds. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which is obviously a woman under the ice. While people have already been found under tons of ice, as earlier mentioned on this list, few people have actually lived to tell about it. Up next is one of them, though. Our next entry is Erica Nordby. During the early morning hours of February 23rd, 2001, one-year-old Erica Nordby strolled into the icy cold outside her home in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. She only wore a t-shirt and a diaper, which were not enough to protect her from the temperature of minus 24 degrees Celsius. She soon froze in the snow. Her mother, Layla, woke after 3 a.m., surprised that Erica had not been crying for food. Layla searched for Erica and soon found her curled in the snow outside. Layla carefully wrapped Erica with blankets, afraid that she would break her daughter's frozen limbs if she handled Erica too hard. Paramedics and police soon arrived and took Erica to the hospital. Doctors were about to connect Erica to a heart and lung machine that would have extracted and warmed her blood before returning it back into her body when her heart started to beat again. Erica then awoke 24 hours later. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is Otzi the Iceman. Late in September of 1991, a couple of German tourists were hiking in the Otzel Alps, walking along an unmarked path across a glacier near the Australian-Italian border. At an elevation more than 10,000 feet, they discovered what they first thought to be the corpse of a recently deceased hiker and thereafter reported the incident to the police. The body was encased in ice, with only the head and the upper part of the torso showing. It turned out to be an ancient ice mummy, though, who has since been called Otzi. There is a mystery associated with this mummy. Everyone who had a hand in discovering and studying Otzi met either tragic or untimely deaths. Whether or not all these deaths can be attributed to the Iceman's curse is uncertain, but it's also highly unlikely that all these tragic events are just mere coincidences. Know of any more unbelievable things found frozen in ice? Let us know down below in the comments. Also feel free to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!